Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, small request, please subscribe to the channel. If you are new, we upload videos on daily basis. Also, I have a telegram channel whose link will be in the description. So basically, I have created the telegram channel, which is many to many so that every single person can send messages. Okay. And the telegram channel, everyone is so active, even I am there. And so if you are having any questions, queries or doubts or any issues, you can just put a uh, like message on that uh, telegram channel and I will definitely reply. Also, if you want any specific topic to be a video made on, you can just put that topic also in the telegram channel and I will try to make a video on it if it is feasible. Okay. So coming to today's topic today, we are going to learn about Ansible and this is a basically a re-upload video. Okay. So in this video, like I will guide you from scratch, what exactly is Ansible, how we can use it, how we can like implement it and what are the questions that will be we need to answer in an interview okay so basically what happens if they ask key uh, have you worked on ansible or not two things you can mention uh, that is going to be really useful for you you can mention clearly key i have i know how to deploy applications using ansible and i know how to uh, install or set up or like update any tool using ansible on different servers okay so these two things basically uh, are the main point uh, which i have faced in interviews okay so I'm going to show you how to do these two things and same thing you can mention in your interviews and all. Okay. So this video is going to be really helpful and also again uh, asking you to join the telegram channel because uh, like the telegram channel is completely active as well as many to many. So everyone can send messages. Okay. So with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to learn about Ansible. Now first question that comes is what exactly is Ansible? Okay. So you might have already heard about IAC. IAC basically stands for infrastructure as code and Ansible is a type of IAC tool. Okay. When we talk about IAC, so basically two tools come into mind. First is Terraform. Second is Ansible. Okay. Main difference between these two tools is like a way of usage. So let's say like we want to create new resources. For example, a virtual machine we want to create over a cloud like Azure or AWS. So we, when we want to create new resources, we use Terraform. Okay. But we want, when we want to perform modifications on the already created resource, for example, like we have a VM and we want to deploy our application or like install any new tool, then we go for, go for Ansible. Okay. So Ansible is a sort of like automation tool in IAC, which can be used for performing modifications, like uh, uh, getting updates and like uh, any making any changes on the already created resource okay now a little bit about uh, ansible so it's a completely open source tool there's a two versions of uh, ansible one is like paid version one is free version free or community you can say okay so free version is more than enough for uh, any person okay okay also ansible is written in python language and then we have what exactly like uh, ansible can be used for so that is to configure any uh, configure the system on a vm or like deploy applications or uh, like uh, uh, make modifications or updates inside a machine or um, mainly a vm okay okay now the reason that ansible is preferred to be used uh, too much is because like it is first of all it is very easy to use and the scripts in uh, for ansible they are also very in, written in very human readable language okay so that makes it uh, very much easier to use okay now coming to how exactly ansible works okay so let me give you a scenario in which let's say we have uh, three virtual machines let me create them here uh, yes let's say we have three virtual machines and we want to install something on that for example let me name them two and three okay Let's say I want to install uh, all on all three machines is Java, Maven, and I want to deploy an application as well. Okay. So if you want to do it manually, you will go log into first machine, then uh, run the commands to do that. Then you will log into second machine again, run the commands and do it. And same thing we will do for third. Okay. So you know that it will take a lot of time when you want to execute all those things, all those things one by one. Okay. And that's where to solve this problem Ansible is comes. Okay. Let's say we have a fourth machine. Uh, let's call it uh, master. Okay. So what we can do, we can write a script, which will be having the commands to install Java Maven and deploy our application that will be inside the script. Okay. 
and we will keep our script inside on this uh, uh, master machine okay so using ansible what we can do we can uh, push those commands or push those uh, programs on this virtual machines okay on this virtual machine we can push them and execute it okay so what it does first of all it will save lot of time because uh, separately we don't need to go to uh, each machine and run the commands okay so first of all it will save a lot of time and secondly it is like very efficient also if we want to do multiple times we can just rerun the script okay and then again all the uh, tools will be installed and our uh, application will be deployed okay now how exactly ansible will work so the node on which we will keep our an ansible script is known as a uh, control node okay so let's write cn the uh, the vm on which our script will be there and ansible will be installed is known as control node while the machines on which we will run the commands are known as managed nodes okay first of all this thing you need to make clear okay okay second is like uh, ansible is known to be agentless when we talk about agentless what exactly it means that means as i said we only install ansible tool on this master node from where we are going to run agent com uh, ansible commands we don't need to install anything on these managed nodes okay nothing we need to install and for that reason like ansible is known as agentless because the target machine on which we are going to perform modification or updates on that machine we don't need to do any kind of changes okay and for that reason like uh, ansible is agentless okay also uh, ansible is also known as idempotent okay Elsim, uh, ansible is also having a property of idempotent so what exactly does does it mean so let's say like uh, i have uh, uh, three three commands i have written in my ansible script first word was to install java second was to install maven and third was to install tomcat and let's say we have a fourth one in which we are uh, deploying an application okay so as soon as we execute this script it will check if uh, java is already there if it is already there it will skip the stage if maven is already there it will skip the stage in case if maven is not there then he will it will install our ansible will install same thing it will do for all others if like all the stages are already completed it won't do it again it will skip them and it will move to next stage okay this also you understand like this is also very useful like uh, if it is already performed then it won't do it okay and because of this reasons uh, like ansible is idempotent basically meaning that it will make changes only when it's really necessary okay okay and the another thing again uh, one more thing like uh, as i said like on master node we'll be having our ansible script containing all the commands that we want to execute on target machine okay so what it does it will push those uh, commands on the machine and those commands basically known as modules okay modules is a, a like a small piece of program that is supposed to perform specific task okay so let's say through control uh, through on the con from control node we will push the modules to target machines and execute them and once they those those modules are executed if they are executed successfully they will be removed from the target machine that means there is no like uh, trash left or something left okay as soon as we push the modules it is executed and it is removed okay and this in this format ansible works okay okay so i i hope like you understand the point of ansible how it works and why we prefer using ansible two of the main most important characters of ansible is agentless and idempotent okay also the the machine on which we will keep our uh, ansible and the scripts is control node and on the target machine on which we are going to uh, like make modifications by running the ansible uh, like ansible commands uh, on those machines those machines are known as a managed node okay okay now what i am going to show you is uh, okay one more thing is left so like uh, let's say uh, like since we are going to uh, make changes on another vm how, how we need to provide authentication right so for that what we have is known as inventory in ansible it's known as inventory so basically you might know inside this uh, folder etc ansible 
slash host host is a file okay host is a file inside which we will provide the ip address of the machines on which we want to make changes okay and th those uh, let me show you the format in which it is written if i go back here see in this format we write the name of ip address like in this square bracket we will provide a group name okay let's say we want to provide a group name as my virtual machine or anything else and below it we will just provide the ip addresses of multiple machine which we want to use in uh, like on which we want to make modifications okay so this is host and this is uh, through with through this this host file we will provide the information that on which machines modifications are supposed to be done okay now coming the part where we need to authenticate so for authentication we are going to use uh, keys you know like uh, private keys uh, private and public keys which are in dot ssh folder i will show uh, afterward okay so that keys will be using for authentication okay so once authentication is established then we can using our script we can like uh, make changes and make modifications on the target machine or the managed node okay so see whatever i am telling you my suggestion would be i hope like you have you might have taken notes of these things okay because these are the this is the main concept of ansible why it is used and like why uh, what are the features of it and how it works through control node to manage node control node is the place where we have ansible installed and where we are like uh, uh, making uh, creating our script and then we are pushing the small piece of program small piece of program is known as modules those modules we are pushing on target node or target machine also known as manage node to uh, get executed okay okay so moving forward what i am going to show you is how we are going to set up ansible how we are going to create authentication and then we will start with the ansible scripts okay so in, using ansible script first of all i will explain to you like uh, what are the basic commands that we can run to perform like uh, small small tasks then i will show you how you can install a tool like sonar cube nexus or tomcat through ansible okay and finally i will show you how we can build and deploy an application using ansible itself okay so you know like let's say we are having the same application on these three machines let's say we are not even having the application so if if we are able to like from other machine without like doing any specific like long task if we are able to like build and deploy application on a certain machine on multiple machine at the same time that will save lot of time right you even you will agree with that okay so that also i will show you in this video okay moving forward so make sure to like uh, watch the video till end so that you can get all the steps as well okay okay so let's move on to the next part okay team so as you can see three vms i have created one is control node and other two are target machine or managed node so what we are going to do we will install ansible on only control node rest everything will leave it as it is okay so you can see on uh, this uh, mobile xterm i have opened all three uh, machines and i am logged in as user root okay now to install uh, ansible let's run these commands sorry yeah so uh, python is required and these days python is like by default installed uh, in these vms okay so i don't need to run those command so what i will do for this ansible i will add the repository for ansible and just uh, make sure you note down that we are running the commands only in control node okay press enter yeah meanwhile let's copy the second command which is to update okay so it is adding the repository uh, which contains uh, the package of ansible okay so this is done let's paste the command to update the packages now and final command is to install ansible okay and let's paste it here press uh, enter y and press enter okay so what else i want to do is once this part is completed then we will uh, create the keys ssh keys in all th uh, three machines and then we will add the public key of our control node inside the authorized keys of managed node 1 and managed node 2 new to vm okay everything i will show you so you don't need to worry about those okay also the script that i use here uh, i will share it to you as well so that you can work with that okay yeah 97% completed 
you can see it is like setting up python as i said like uh, ansible is written in python language so python like is is required okay okay so this part is done now as i said we, we need to generate the ssh keys okay so i will run the command as ssh hyphen keygen okay that is generate keys click enter uh, okay sorry spelling mistake is there let me fix it yeah and we just need to click enter no passphrase we want to provide and click enter and you can see the ssh keys have been created inside this repository okay so let's go inside that cd then slash root slash dot ssh okay and ls you can see three three thing keys are created this is the private key this is public key and this is authorized key okay so let me uh, view the public key because we are we need to add the public key of control node into managed node one and manage managed node two okay so id then dot okay so we are going to add this now here also we will generate the ssh keygen command will be very simple and click enter no passphrase we need to provide yeah so it is also created and same thing we will create in a managed to okay ssh hyphen keygen enter okay done now let's uh, go to uh, cd the place we uh, the location where this uh, keys are generated okay and here then here also let's go to slash root slash dot ssh okay clear the screen clear the screen okay now if i run ls command you can see these three things are there so we want to edit authorized keys okay and inside authorized keys we are going to add our public key of the control node okay so let's copy this public key this is the public key of control node let's copy it let's go to managed node 2 okay and yeah so it is not going like this okay meanwhile i would like definitely suggest as i always say like without implementation nothing works so even after watching video you might forget everything so my suggestion is like watch it again and again and maybe implement it as well then only you will understand okay so this is pasted wq to save and exit manage inside manage to we have added now inside here we need to add so we will run the command v vi authorized keys enter press i for insert and let's uh, uh, go to the last line i am i am unable to go like uh, by scrolling down or something so i have to like go one by one okay no issues in that it will take little bit of time okay okay and press enter and we will paste the key here public key here then exit save and exit enter okay now this is done now what we want to do let me clear the screen again okay and slash home and yeah okay now what we need to do is uh, like add the ip address of these two machines on our control node and where we need to add that also let me show you first of all we will go to uh, etc okay ls you can see these are the files so we will go inside and sible yeah and ls you can see uh, three things are there and sible.cfg host and roles roles i will explain as well as use also in installing one of the tools okay first we will focus on host so we will edit the host vi okay so here we need to provide the ip address of those uh, two machines okay so and the format will be like square bracket and let's provide them a name vm okay and enter and here we need to provide the ip address of those two machines okay so i will copy the ip address from here 
paste it enter and one more IP address we have so that also we will copy managed node 2 okay and let's paste it here as well you can see IP addresses are pasted now we will exit from here okay okay let me clear the screen cd slash home slash ubuntu okay okay so, uh, as of now you can see this folder is empty okay now to check like if our uh, like connection is working fine or not so we can run the command ssh okay but before that there is one last thing i forgot to do sorry about that so let's do that as well okay so again we will go to slash etc slash uh, ansible okay and here we will edit this time config file okay so what exactly we need to add in config file you know like i added keys to make sure that they do not like uh, uh, like take too much time for authentication we need to add like uh, this one host key checking false okay so i will like add it in the format of default it is enter let's add it to yeah it's, it's, oh, no hash because i don't want to comment it yeah okay so we have added this and save wq exit okay go back to home then ubuntu machine okay now if i run the command as ssh also as you noticed i all like created the uh, keys using root user only so we need to to check the con uh, connection we can run the command as ssh root okay and at the rate so we have the ip address of both the machines we can check one by one this is the ip address 247 let's paste it here click enter enter post key verifications fail okay team so i think i did not provide yes as a input okay so what we can do we can run the command again ssh root at the rate the ip address which is this one click enter and you can see we are able to connect now okay okay team so what we can do just to confirm that uh, connection to our machines is working fine fine from ansible we can run this command okay so let me explain it to you ansible is the executor which is from uh, which will call uh, ansible okay then we have all it basically like uh, mentions that whatever uh, ip addresses we have added in our host all the ip addresses all the inventory will be used okay this command should run to all then we have hyphen m which basically means module and ping is the module name which we are going to use ping is a module name which uh, like uh, ping is a module which will be used to find out if the connection to the uh, managed node 1 and 2 is working fine or not we can click enter and you can see you can see it is success both the machines the ip address you can see both the, uh, connection to both the IP machines is success now okay okay team so once we have executed the ping command to make sure that a connection is working next we can start with the play and playbooks okay so first of all what exactly is play versus playbook okay so when we write very small program very uh, performing just one task that is play when we are combining multiple tasks then that is playbook okay now i will show you the example so first of all what i will do i will create one directory okay so that we will keep our all scripts inside that okay now we will go inside that directory and let's create one script okay so for ansible we need to use a yaml file okay so i will create a file named as script.yaml and we will edit it okay so the basic message the first basic message that we should be using is this one okay let me show you what exactly and how exactly it is working okay so first of all we have host and we have written all instead of uh, all basically means that whatever uh, in host file whatever vms we have uh, added ip address on every vm uh, these uh, commands will be executed okay but it, if specifically you want to execute on just one or two vm what we can do you can just provide the inventory name so in my case like i added these two nodes manage node 1 and manage nodes 2 inside inventory vm okay so either you wrote uh, is fine okay next we have task now this task section it under this comes like what are the tasks are going to perform 
so the name of the task that we have given is print message after this name section we have debug debug is a module basically one of the module that we are going to use today and inside debug we have message what message we want to print okay so let me save this and command run wq to run uh, also like you just saw it was just one command once uh, one task so that is just play when we are integrated integrating or extending that script with multiple tasks that will be the playbook okay so now to execute a playbook how we can execute we can run the command as ansible dash playbook space the name of the script that we have in our case script.yaml click enter now you can see the commands executed and you see like since even though we just had one task here two tasks are showing okay we just had print message but here gathering fact also showing this is because this task is the default one ran by run by ansible okay just to make sure to check connection and other things like uh, basically con uh, collecting facts about the uh, like the commands that are going to run okay so you can see our command ran successfully on both the machines and it is fine okay now i want to show you another how we are going to extend the script okay so let me show you that as well okay let's say i want to extend the script again i want to show you a feature of uh, how we use that uh, variables in uh, ansible okay so what i will do from tasks till end i have just copied and let me show you how i will use it so click enter and below the task okay i will paste it paste this and here let's modify a little bit so i want to show you now variables how we use variables okay and here we can provide the like uh, hello name double quotes double quotes okay now basically the name that you see here it is a variable and as as of now i have not defined it anywhere so to define a variable what can we do we can go here space uh not space i think yeah one second use uh, maybe we can write it like this name column name will be aditya okay sorry 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 about that vars in in this format just to confirm let me check vars yeah okay so in this format i have defined a variable named name whose value is aditya and i have i am calling it here okay now if we run this wq saved it run the script now let's see what happens okay so you can see here the message that came is hello aditya okay so this is how we like declare variables okay okay now what i want to show you like we have our scripts okay yeah so you can see like two tasks as of now and it is already a playbook because as i mentioned multiple task a combination of multiple task that is a playbook okay now let's say i want to add one more task is to create a folder okay so as of now if i go to uh, node 1 you can see okay one folder is there let it let it be and here we have if i run ls command nothing is there okay so we will create a folder using ansible commands okay so for that what i will do first i will copy this so that we can edit it copy this one okay and okay let's paste it okay now we want to change some things little modification is needed so i will provide the name first of all name of the task will be create directory okay okay now different module we want to use so now i want to use a file module a module is known as file one of the module is file module which is useful for creating directories okay so in this i uh, in this the uh, items we need to provide is path first of all 
path will be containing the uh, location and the file name where we want to create a new directory okay so i want to create a directory uh, inside home slash one two folder and one two yeah inside this i want to create a folder named xyz okay and here we need to provide state so state will be directory kind basically the kind of uh, what kind of uh, item we want to create is directory okay save this wq and here let's run the command uh, that way command will be ansible dash pl playbook then our scripts name okay click enter and it should start let's see if it works fine or not so we can see it was able to create directory also you can see like the previous command did not run the reason because they have already run so they got skipped okay so if i run ls command now we can see two folders are there xyz here also ls xyz right great okay let's say next up we want to uh, install a package on these two machines for example maven package okay so how do we do that so again we will edit our script and let's say i want to we can copy this much okay and let's paste it here see i've copied from here for example let's say that i want to run the commands on a different machine okay so that i can define here in host section okay in here for example like we are already having two machines inside vm and same thing will run uh, on using the all uh, command okay so let's add just vm and let's see okay so here i will remove the variables now because we do not need to use them uh, in our current uh, task okay so let me remove this okay now what we want to do is install maven okay so let's provide the name install maven and module that i will be using is a apt module which is used for installing packages okay so here name will be a maven let's provide the name as maven and state will be present okay okay see state basically as we have written present that means it will install it if we write here absent it will like uninstall, uninstall the tool or package okay so this is fine okay let's try to run this command is ansible playbook script name okay so let's monitor okay so it has started installing maven and uh, previous command already ran and you can see uh, since we provided two different names in the place of host one section all one section was vm okay so it is doing that so on one machine it is already installed it seems okay so let us complete once it completes then we will be able to see also like see the uh, create create a directory it should not be running again because like one time already created the folder so it should be skipped okay for maven let's wait for a few minutes so that it can install okay so once maven will complete we will uh, uh, like from using roles we will install tomcat on our both the machines okay not sure how much time this is going to take and meanwhile on this uh, vm we can try to check okay let me see if the ip address of vm1 is yeah let's try to run the command as maven hyphen v and you can see on machine one it has installed on both the machine as of now it has installed so on machine two if we go run as maven hyphen v okay here in the log you can see on one machine it seems it was already installed on this machine it was already installed so change is showing zero because no change is done but on machine second 
maven was not there so it installed manually okay so here in, uh, now at this point on both the managed nodes we have maven installed okay so this is how these are some of the basic uh, modules which we can use okay now what i want to show you is uh, how we install use how we install a tomcat server using roles okay so let's do that as well okay team so next up what i want to show you is how we can install a tool like sonar cube or tomcat or nexus using ansible roles okay so role is something a way to generate multiple uh, like file structure of any tool you want to install okay and the way that it will generate files for like uh, separate files for like variables then task then everything else also okay so in that format like when you want to configure on higher level you can use the use those roles okay so to create a role for example let's say ansible galaxy then in it and here you, you need to provide the name of your role for example i will provide tomcat click enter if i run ls you can see tomcat is there okay so if i go inside tomcat and run the command tree to show you the structure you can see here whole like uh, complete file uh, fi uh, like folder structure is created with multiple yaml files okay see for variable separate yaml file for test separate for task separate for handlers for default it's separate file okay so using configuring these files you can like install a tool like tomcat sonar cube or nexus now how we are going to configure it so since there are multiple files i'm not going to configure it like uh, everything one by one instead i have a like whole repository i just found it on github which is already configured little bit changes we need to make so that i will show you now okay so let's remove this uh, ls yeah okay so let me create a, uh, my repository i have actually forked my a uh, forked repository okay so let me show you that let's open the repository also like that repository is public so if you want you can even use that okay 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 let it open i don't know like whenever i open try to open GitLab, github it takes too much time okay also i have told before also guys please like uh, start following me on github because all the rep some some repository repositories are as of now like uh, private some are public so as soon as like uh, the count is increasing i will make uh, repositories one by one public okay so this is the repository which i have cloned uh, yeah so you can see same things are here we need to configure a little bit so what i will do i will copy this okay and let's create a fold uh, yeah so here we can run the command as git clone repository url and this should create a specific folder okay ls you can see tomcat ansible is created we will go inside it okay now you see there are uh, okay let me run tree command you can see the structure of this file is similar to that before but there are certain other things also configured okay so here what changes we are going to do is changes inside this this file host okay so if i scroll down you can see where we need to make changes so we need to make changes here okay so what i will do i will copy this rest anything else we need to do i don't think so yeah okay go here and sorry we need to edit our host file okay but i think like we uh, it's already added right no issues we will add again okay so the ip address we need to add ip addresses of both the machines so one machine ip address is this one then for the second one we will fetch it and it's two okay sorry about that yeah this one's the ip address and let's paste it as well okay so this is done we will save it and exit okay what else we need to make modifications for is uh, to do i don't think so anything else okay 
now you might be wondering like uh, we already have a host file inside etc slash ansible slash host but why did we configure outside and here okay so the main thing is that like already we are having another like new host file here and when i ran run this command see ansible playbook hyphen i so basically it provides the information the path of the uh, host file which we want to use so we are already inside the directory where host file exists so if i provided this information like this that means it will the new host file that i mentioned here added the uh, uh, vm details here that will be used okay so if i click enter and it should start the deployment and you can see see some things it is saying here skipping why because that 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 thing is already present on the managed node as i mentioned previously that uh, uh, ansible is like idempotent okay that means like it will perform the task only which one is re required or necessary if some task is already like uh, ran then it would it won't perform the same task again okay you can see for example like if we have already uh, created a directory and we, we are running the command to like do it again it won't do it it will just skip the task okay and you can see uh, as of now it what it is doing it is installing java okay see this might take little bit of time because uh, java is of big size okay so let's wait for it to complete once it completes what i will show you from both the applications we will access the tomcat server in browser okay so we will wait for it to complete uh, like java is almost size more than 500 mb okay yeah that is completed uh, for for one vm it is completed for second vm it is running see three colors you are seeing a uh, green blue and yellow yellow means it means that it has ran the command and it has executed it uh, green mean uh, uh, sorry yellow means the things have changed okay uh, green means the command was successful and blue means skipping the command okay because it is already existing okay so here you can see like it made 12 12 different changes on both the machines okay but the task was successful now okay so now what we can do if i open the host file just to get the uh, ip addresses cat host yeah so let let me show you the tomcat server that just got installed now if i copy this go to browser paste it here port default port is 8080 you can see tomcat server on one vm is running for the second vm we can copy the command copy this and paste it here port is 8080 which is the default port and you can see on both the different machines 247 and we have 7 so both on both the machines tomcat is installed okay so once we have installed tomcat successfully next what we will be doing is to build and deploy an application using ansible okay so for that what i want first of all i have this pet clinic application which is public so you can also use it we will copy the ip address and then we will start configuring our script okay so let's start with the okay now see basic basic script we are uh, again having uh, just one task which is to print okay so first what i want to do first uh, let's say that uh, inside this uh, uh, you know on both the machines i want to create a folder here named as pet clinic basically we will clone the application here so along with the source code okay let's say that one time i ran it was successful and again one time ran then it will be failing because it could not clone again because the uh, folder another folder named pet clinic is already present so i will uh, create a script in such a way which will first check if the folder is already existing or not if it is already existing then it won't clone it again if it is not existing then it will clone again and then it will start the build, building process okay okay so first of all what we'll do we'll copy this script let's copy and we will paste it okay so paste it here yeah okay so name what i'm going to provide now is uh, uh, check if the folder exists okay 
so check if folder exist avoid the spelling mistake okay and the module that we are going to use for this task is stat okay and inside it the arguments will be providing is the path where it needs to check okay okay so one second uh, yeah so path where we need to check is home slash ubuntu okay so that will be home slash ubuntu slash pet clinic okay see if you see here as of now there is no folder named pet clinic okay so there is no issue it can clone so this is the folder that we have provided it needs to check if this folder exists or not okay then whatever the output comes we want to put it somewhere so we will use something known as register and we will create a variable sort of thing for register for example file i want to provide the name as file okay so whatever output came uh, came uh, from stat i put it inside register okay i don't know why the fuck this dog is dying today okay let it be okay so this is done next what i want i will copy this and uh, we will paste sorry i will copy this and paste it here okay now what we are going to do is that this, this is the uh, another uh, task okay so here if the if the folder does not exist it will create okay so we will here provide the name name of this task as build and deploy okay and here first uh, module that we are going to use is shell and the format goes like uh, this okay and here we will delete these things okay so since we have multi line code so we will write in this format like a big line a pipe and below it we can write multi multi line code so okay so first of all first thing that we need to do is go inside the folder where we want to build and deploy so that will be home slash ubuntu okay so inside this we are going to perform our task okay okay and first task that we we need to perform is git clone git clone and the uh, repository url which is this one okay so let me copy and paste it here okay this is done first main main stage is done but as i said like we are first checking so now we are going to use this result okay so there is another module known as na and when okay and here what we are going to do is not then file dot stat dot exist okay now let me explain you what is happening here see we checked here and we put the result true or false inside this okay now it will like it will give the result that if file the exist or does not exist okay so here i am running command or i am creating a condition that makes sure that if file does not exist sorry if the file is already not present then only git clone will be done correct okay so what i will do now i let's save this and let's run this okay save and see and see bal dash playbook then we have script name which is this one click enter and let's see what happens okay the the some music condition does define to to be okay some issue is there no uh, no worries we can edit and check our script again okay 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 let me do one thing let me combine them in the same task 
maybe that that might be the problem for this or file start dot exist okay 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 now let's try again labels yeah okay now it was hopefully done successful first first uh, what it ran it checked the folder if it exists or not then uh, it made changes if we go our go to our manage nodes run the command as ls we can see folder is created pet clinic correct great now what we will do we will uh, like edit our scripts again one more time to build and deploy the application finally okay great okay so what i will do i will just copy this uh, these stages and paste it okay so let's uh, make some changes here here what we are doing cloning okay here we are doing cloning and next stage we are doing uh, building the application okay see uh, this should be nice so basically if it is not being cloned that means the folder is already there the source code folder and if it is already there then we can just go ahead and build our application so where we are going to perform the building pet clinic inside this folder correct and what command we are going to run is mvn package um, mvn clean package would be better once the artifact is generated what we are going to do is copy the file copy the artifact file from target slash pet clinic dot var to which location okay so let me clear the screen here okay so we need to basically copy the uh, arti uh, copy the artifact inside tomcat web apps okay now to find out like where exactly tomcat is being in, uh, was installed we can go back to our repository and check for the path there uh, let me see if i have like noted down somewhere okay i have not no issues okay let me check where is the repositories okay tomcat and sibyl and here we need to find out the target path where tomcat is being installed okay 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 we should be tools <sighs> tomcat and go to task user okay path we can see user slash share slash tomcat right okay so what i will do i will check for the same thing here slash user slash share ls cd tomcat we have ls web apps okay okay sorry cd web apps pwd to get the path so this is the path inside which we need to copy our artifact okay so i will copy the path and let's paste it here okay and this should deploy the application this path this this task will build the application and this will deploy the artifact to tomcat server okay so let's do that okay one second before that let's uh, edit little bit to make it look uh, just little good okay so for this uh, i want to provide the name as uh, checking checking if clone one second what is that yeah checking 
white is coming blue I think checking might be some like uh, inbuilt variable that's why it is giving error check for folder existence existence yeah that is fine just let's save it and execute it Principle playbook error syntax okay 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 something some error is there not file and offering line appears to be okay 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 yeah little bit issue is there because we our this name thing it is not aligned okay now it should be good let's try to run again and civil playbook and you have you can see it has started again yeah cloning you can see here cloning part it skipped the reason why because folder already exists there and next next command what we had to go inside that pet clinic uh, folder and there it is running the command maven package okay so once the command is successful the target folder will be created and from there it will copy the artifact to tomcat server okay and then we should be able to access the tomcat server so let's wait for it to complete since it is running maven package command for the first time so it will take little bit of time okay so let's wait yeah it's still running acha we can check here as well right firan the uh, command as slash home slash ubuntu slash uh, pet clinic application if i run ls command okay it's still running so that is why the target folder is not yet created okay no issues see because like maven package is going to take around like i don't know i'm not sure like 2 3 minutes minimum okay okay meanwhile you if you are still there i would request you to literally take a no, like take a note of everything script and everything and try to implement everything as i did okay i started learning today only uh, ansible and since 2 uh, 2 pm in the afternoon i was like practicing and implementing these things okay it's still taking little bit time yeah you can see here not target folder is created that means for at least one it should be completed okay and if i go here here also pet clinic is there cd ls here also target folder is created now it might be copying the you see for both of them it is done now now if i go to tomcat server of these uh, machines if i put slash pet clinic click enter and you can see application is deployed accessible as well same thing if i put for the second machine pet clinic and yeah for this event it is running fine great that means like we were able to deploy our application successfully okay so i hope this video was useful and all the uh, script all that repository tomcat repository even i will just put in description it will be public you can access it okay so that's all for today and thanks for watching guys